Hi everyone, I did say I would come back and show you how um, I made these. Very si uh, simple, I've not covered this one yet but I will be doing that one. Uh, now I've used skewers, now you can use what you want but I use skewers. Uh, it's all I had at the time, I mean you could use wire, you could do wire. The only thing is, it'd be harder to pop the feathers into the wire, obviously. You'd have to do something and fasten it on somehow. So what I'm going to do is, I'm now going to show you what I've used. And although I've covered this one, I've not covered that one yet, but I will do. I'll do it as, uh, as I show you. Now what you're going to need is a skewer. You can use wire, but you're going to have a job attaching your beads. Um... And sorry, not your beads, your feathers. Uh, it's easier with the skewer. Now you're going to need a sharp instrument. And I'm just using my knife. And I'm just going to choose a place to split the wood. And you just split it. Like that. So you want so far your feathers got to sit in that so I'm just going to leave that with that open for now I'm going to choose a white feather not white cream these are all back in ladies and gents yeah we got them back in I mean there's a nice one look at that gorgeous and I'm going to take the bottom section off because you don't need that I'm going to cut it like that. See, I've only got that. Oh, sorry, glue gun on. Oh, typical, isn't it? Right, here we are. Now, I, all I'm going to do is to pop, make sure I get this the right way, pop some, oh god, the glue's going, look. Just pop the glue either side of the feather and I'm going to sit that in there like that take that out squash that down and then you've got to make sure it's in right let me just get that off there Okay, so now we've got that. And then, now I've got some crowns here. I, in fact, I love that. That's not going to go on there yet, is it? So what I'm going to do is we take some large beads and I might take that one first. And I'm going to glue that on front and back. Just going to take that and glue that into place at the top of that. So that's glued into place. Take off any excess. So I've got a large bead cap which will fit there. And then what I've got to do is to find a bead big enough to sit in that. That's it, like that. And then I might be able to add... Nope, don't want to do that. Might put that back on. See, I could have it like that. Clear that bit off. You're not really going to see much of that. You just have to get the balance right, like... Ah, now that one, I like that. So, uh, that's going to be the front, is it? Let's just have a look. No, that way. That's going to be the front. So I need that flower, this beautiful flower here. Uh, I like that one best. To sit just there. Now, don't worry about any excess glue that comes off there we just peel it off 
So I've got that. Now don't worry about this because we're going to decorate that. Um, what I was going to try and do, which I'm not sure if it'll work, might need to take that off first. Just take that off. Where did that other crown go? See, I like that crown. It's It could go, but I'm not going to make it go. Let me just see if I can fit this one on. And do it like a bead, look. See, like that. I don't have any really big beads, unfortunately, so I'm only doing what I can. But yeah, I can do that. Now, that would be a nice bead. I want to mix my beads. And I think I'm going to use that one. I'm going to use it. There's the front of my bead and I'm going to fit that on. So I'm just going to put the glue on the stem, turn it the way I want it and sit that up against there, like that. That's it. See? I mean, it is going off to the side for a little bit, but it doesn't matter. I'm not fussed about that whatsoever. Right. There's a little bit there I can scrape out with a knife. It's, you probably can't see it, but I can. And things like that bug me, <laughs> as they do. Right, and so on top of this <coughs> here, I've got this tiny little... Cameo. I might actually, I'm going to put the cameo on that. So I'm going to get that in the right place. Put a little bit of glue on there. Pick the cameo up. Make sure I've got it the right way around. And I'm going to put a tiny little cameo there. And then I'm going to put some flowers here. Now. Let me do these. I think we'll do these. Do we want those? We'll see. I'm going to do it anyway. All you do then is you start and you put one there, one there and one there and you just build it up. So I'm going to put my first flower, which is going to be like that, there. Like that. And then what you do is you build at the side of it. So my next one's going to sit in there. And then my next one sits in there. And I'm just going to hold these two together. Make sure they sit together well like that. And then just above here is where I'm going to put a small one. And I'm just going to sit that little flower in there. See, like that. And you can just about do anything you want with them. Build them out. And then all you have to do is, oops, sorry about that, is to use whatever you've got, ribbon or whatever. Now I started with mine and did it from the bottom up. I know people start from the top down, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start mine from the bottom I'm just going to wrap that around there like that. Because I can keep control of it then. As I wrap it round. Just keep going. Take off any excess, pull it away from the stem. See, like that. And then what I do is just snip that off at an angle. And 
and just bring that back down. So it's coming back down the stem. See, like that. Now you can pop that into um, anywhere. And you can also put another one in there if you wanted to. Uh, I think I've got... Um, let me just see. don't know if we can mix and match it. Yeah, we can put that in. Which is what I'm going to do. Just got a little cluster that I'm going to stick at the back there. That's it, in there. Like that. Just to build that out a little bit. <laughs> but what I can do then is to take my smaller ones that I really don't do much with. There's one even smaller than that, like that. Chop the bottom section off. Glue it. And we just add that into the back for extra thickness of feather. See, like that. I mean, you can continue doing all your little ones. I can do another one. And just do that. Like that. That's better. A lot more feather. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And it, it's up to you what you put on them. I've got to get that bit of glue out. It's doing me head in. That's it, got it. I got it. <laughs> it was really doing me head in. You know, so it's completely up to you what you do. Right, I'm just going to do another one. I'm going to split it right down like that. And I think I'm going to do the pink one again. Or a pink one. Well, I would do if I knew where my feathers were. And then here's a taller one. They're beautiful. So we've got them in pink and cream at the moment. I'm waiting for the other colours to come. I think I ordered powder blue, white, red, green. So like I say, I'm just going to snip the bottom section off. And then this has to be glued. both ways and then fitted just slot it in like that and then push that in there like that and then squash it really quickly because you that has to you know sit into the bead and I'm just going to do that I'm just taking the bottom section bits off I like that okay and then what we're going to do is to pop on this one like that to give it some height just leave it like that for a minute okay now the next step let me get some more glue in my stick uh, glue glue in. How about we don't put a bead on it? Because you don't have to. Look, I could put a picture on. And flowers around. Ah, oh, now. Oh, wait. See. See, see, see. See, see. I have two of these. That needed using up. And I could... Oh, yeah. See. Just use your noggins, Fee. Just use your noggins. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there. See, like that. So I've got like a background. And to that... I'm, oh, and it looks like a hat. Now, wait a minute. Is that... No, 
No, I like that. Okay. All right. We can still put beads on it. I'm not fussed about that. So I've got my... See, I like that. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to just put some little flowers here. Uh, I've just found one small pearl there and another one here. They're like a teardrop that I want to slot in here. fussed about that bit there. I'm just going to snip these little oddments off here. There we are. Just snip the odd long ones off that we're doing me heading. <laughs> Oops a daisy. That's not quite got it there. See like that. And then if I turn that over I can pop in a couple of leaves. See, I've got one of those. I absolutely love... Oh, do you know, I like that. 
It is a triple butterfly. And I'm going to use it. I absolutely love that then. Like that. It's a triple butterfly. There. Oh, that's quite nice. <laughs> And that's all you do is play around. I'm not going to cover that one, but I will snip the end off. And we do have to be careful. Um, there, somebody else can colour that. Or cover it, whatever. But yeah, so they're the ones we've got now. Let me just show you. One. Two. Three. Four. Hope you like those. Oh, sorry. Hope you like those. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll uh, speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.